Cross slot openers make horizontal slots, shaped like an inverted T. Humidity is trapped in the seed zone beneath a mulch of crop residue. Both the soil and this residue are then folded back over the slot. This cocoons the seed and seedlings in a humid microenvironment that also has good soil to seed contact. They therefore get the best of both worlds. The end result is the highest possible reliability of seedling emergence from dry soils. And horizontal slots are unique to cross lot. Cross slot openers put seeds where nature intended, under that residue. On the other hand, cultivation does everything unnatural by burying the residues first. The act of cultivation releases more carbon into the atmosphere than is gained from the residue being buried. The net result is that the organic matter in the soil gradually reduces until such time as the soil is virtually carbon free. One of the things that was said by several people when we started this is our residue load is going to get so heavy that we won't be able to handle it after a few years. But the microorganisms and the worms have come in and uh, taken this ground and just brought it all to life. During the last five seasons, we've been surveying the countryside in the Palouse region of eastern Washington and northern Idaho to determine what crops are being planted, how much crop residue is left after planting, and how much erosion is occurring in farmers' fields. And we have found during those seasons that there is one system that consistently has over 70 to 80 percent crop residue on the soil surface, and that is the cross-slot no-till system. We invented an electronic system called ADF. It continuously measures soil hardness as the openers travel along and adjusts the downforce on each opener to match. It samples 10 times per second and adjusts 3 times per second. Without ADF, depth of seeding is affected by changes in soil hardness. And the cross lot is just magnificent at doing that because of its ability, the ability to control depth and pressure on the go. Cross lot openers separate seed and fertiliser into two horizontal bands with a single opener. Uh, we've gone from averaging four to five tonne of sort of feed grains uh, up to the um, around 11 and a half to 12 tonne mark on these light lismores. We finally focused on the cross lot technology that had been developed in New Zealand and after observing that we got uh, very good emergence, very good growth, uh, the bottom line was that we also got a yield boost of about 15 percent in our winter wheat. Cross lot no tillage is changing the future of agriculture by replacing the full suite of cultivation equipment with a single pass state-of-the-art seed drill. Because let's face it, cultivation is outdated, it's expensive, and worse, it's environmentally irresponsible.